Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back again with another um, sequence video. This is in 1 Thessalonians um, 4, 13 to 5, 11. And so this is, has a verse that I quote a lot, so I thought I would put this one in, into the collection. But this one is a little bit more summarized. It only talks about salvation and then impending wrath, and then doesn't really go into details beyond that. But it's important, you know, very, very important verse in here. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so though, uh, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. So when Christ appears in the sky, the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we're gonna see that here. Um, and so, you know, just know that. Uh, for this we declare to you by a word of the Lord, a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. So. This is another example of reincarnation where, um, you know, Paul is saying that we, you know, who are alive, he's talking about the people that are around him, you know, that they're going to be there when Christ returns. How else is that possible unless their spirit is, um, you know, is reincarnated, you know, back into a, a different body in the last days. And so, um, you know, just know that. And there's many, many examples of that, but it's uh, reminded us of us here. Verse 16, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first, okay? And so God's right-hand side are the, the spirits, the souls that are outside of the body that are still, you know, part of God's right-hand side, just not living in the end times. Then there's God's elect, like Paul is saying here that those who will, they'll all be alive. All 144,000 men will be alive in a body, you know, in the last days. That's what the Bible says. And then it's um, my people, and then it's the mixed multitude, you know, and then so just know that. And then it's obviously the two witnesses, Christ and um, the 24 elders, if that represents actual people and then the most high. And so, you know, just know that. And so there's a constant cycling, you know, of souls on God's left and right hand side. And just watch my video on reincarnation to get more evidence of it. I think it's pretty obvious at this point uh, for people who follow my channel. Uh, verse 17, then we who are alive, who are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we will always be with the Lord. That's the quote unquote rapture. That's in verse 17 um, for, um, you know, which represents, you know, God's elect. Verse 18, therefore, encourage one another with these words. Now concerning the times and seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. He's basically saying it should be obvious, you know, when this is going to happen. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we are to belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. You know, keep it on our mind. Verse 9, this is a very famous one. But God has not destined us to wrath, us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. So prior to all this calamity and all that, this destruction, um, God's elect will be taken away, okay? Because they're not appointed under wrath. And that wrath is in Revelation 16. Um, who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Okay. And so that's the first fruits, you know, and that's God's elect. Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another just as you are doing. And so this is describing here salvation. And then right that day, that that, that moment that that happens, the, the beginning, that's the beginning of God's wrath. Okay. And then God's left hand side knows exactly what's going on. Okay. Um, it's going to be plagues, you know, and then Christ returning with his elect to destroy everybody who takes the mark of the beast. So, um, you know, just know that um, here, it doesn't go into as much detail as all the other ones, but, you know, this tells us, uh, you know, like it's obvious everywhere that God's elect are not appointed unto wrath, and that's the purpose of salvation. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.